every Christian who's ready will go for the rapture of the church. But if you're not prepared, if you're not ready, and one of those things that can keep you from being ready is worldliness. Hello, my family. Welcome again to Direct TV, bringing you the truth. Welcome, guys, to this special episode of my video. And right in today's video, guys, I'm here with the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilume, and with also the man of God by person of Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. And in today's video, guys, these two men of God are going to be talking about the rapture. And the first man of God by person of the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilume, will be speaking on Christians that are not going to make it through rapture. I mean, you are born again, but you are not going to, you are not going to make it through rapture. All right, because of some of the things that um, you are doing, which the man of God will list them out. All right, so that you better understand. See, this video is very important. So that as a Christian out there, you are just living your life and you are thinking that, oh, so far I'm born again, I'm going to go for the rapture. If you listen to this, you know how to order your life. And then the man of God, Prophet Emmanuel Makandewa, you will be speaking on um, rapture too concerning the bride and how Jesus has to call these people to come. This is very, very important too. That's why I'm bringing it to you. All right. And before we dive into the video, guys, um, I will quickly like to remind some of you coming newly to my channel. If it's your first time my channel, please just kindly hit the subscribe button, subscribe to this channel. And if you have not liked today's video, please kindly hit the like button, like today's video. And then let's watch the first man of God by personal of Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilume. And immediately after this video, I'll be right back to share with you the rest of what I have for you. Please watch this. Williams from Spain is asking, thank you, Pastor, for the awesome privilege to know what's in the mind of God at all time. My question is one that has caused a debate in my church. <laughs> if a Christian on a Sunday plans not to go to church just so he can watch a football match, if rapture happens, will he be raptured? He wouldn't. Let me explain to you. That may surprise you. Jesus, I think I should read um, <laughs> something to you. Answer. Can I add something? Yes, please. Uh, what if it's not football? What if it's something else? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to, even not just only football, but let me read something to you. You know, um, one of the things we need to recognize in God's word is the matter of preparation. Hmm. He always told us to be ready. He said, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. In such an hour. That's what he said. Always, he gave us the, uh, the warnings. Always. If a Christian, there's, a, there's something called worldliness. A worldly Christian will not go for the rapture. There's a difference between the rapture of the church and the second coming of Christ. Every Christian will not go for the rapture. The rapture is for every Christian who is ready. Every Christian who is ready will go for the rapture of the church. But if you're not prepared, if you're not ready, and one of those things that can keep you from being ready is worldliness. I said I want to read something to you. It's just a simple, in, in uh, St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 24, verse 44, it says, Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. All right? For in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. 
Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you that, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, but and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayed, delayed his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of. And he shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You see it? He's his servant, but he was not prepared. He says, so when the Son of Man comes, and he takes that servant by surprise, he said, he shall appoint him his portion with the, with the hypocrites. And there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So he says, in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. Be ye also ready. There is a readiness that we're supposed to have in Christ Jesus. There's a state of mind for a Christian, a spirituality. You see, a spirituality. So Jesus is not coming for a canal church. See, this has to be made clear. L let, me read, let me read something else to you here. See, that question was a matter of choices. He says, um, if a Christian on the Sunday plans not to go to church, what does the Bible say? Neglect not the, the, the assembly of yourselves together as the manner of some is. God already knows that there are some. Now, if he tells us not to do what they do, it means that there's a difference. So it's not the same. It's not, it doesn't mean that whatever you do, wherever you are, rapture is going to take place and uh, we all go, uh, uh, like you said, a matter of a change of venue or wherever you... No, 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 it's not acceptable. The Word of God is very clear as to... God's desire for your spirituality. God's desire. He wants you to be spiritually minded. He says to be carnally minded is death. To be carnally minded is death. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. How can you make a choice of something carnal in place of going to the house of God? It's senseless. So, if the rapture of the church takes place, you are not going. Because it is clear there, he already said it. You're not going because you made carnal choices. He says to be carnally minded is death. We just saw it. He will appoint that servant, his servant, his place with the hypocrites. He didn't call him a hypocrite, but he will have his place with the hypocrites. Then he says there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Why do we sing that song? Um, uh, no, no, the sinner's voice you hear. Gone, gone, they are gone, they are gone. Marching to join the glorious ones. No, no, had I known, had I known. And that sinner is talking about is not the worldly, is not the, the sinner of the world. It is the sinner in the house of God who will not walk in the light of God. Because the sinner doesn't have any place anyway. He has to be saved first. So after you have come into Christ, you must walk in the light. The Bible says if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship one with another. But if you're not walking in the light, then of course, it means you, you are preparing yourself to have your place with sinners. That's what it means. So God's word, is he gave us several examples. He told us about Noah. All right? How that Noah warned the people. He warned them. But they were not prepared. They weren't listening. So, don't, um, don't live your life carnally and say, so long as I'm born again, um, it's, it's okay. All right, my family, there you have it with the man of God by personal Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilume as he actually mentions or give or is and explain, all right, what is going to stop a Christian from being raptured, which is worldliness, all right. This is very key because if you are living your life out there and you're just thinking, oh, nothing will happen, nothing will happen, don't worry, you will know one thing. 
but guys i'm bringing this video because i want to hurt you to live the right life you know i've been talking about rapture in my channel for a long time so bringing this video is to actually let you know that you can't live the worldly life and then expect rapture even if you are born again all right i'll speak about this in the end of the video but i'd like you to watch the man of god prophet emmanuel makandiwa as he actually talked about the bride and how god is going to come and take us through rapture this is very important it's very important you gotta watch this and i'll quickly like to remind um some of you that is coming new to my channel please just kindly hit the subscribe button subscribe to this channel and if this is your um your first time my channel in fact everybody go ahead and hit the like button and like to this video so that this video can be recommended to other people and then watch the man of god prophet emmanuel makandewa guys and immediately after this video i'll be right back please watch this Does the bride receive an invitation to her own wedding? Oh, Father. It doesn't happen that way. <laughs> it doesn't happen. <laughs> she is the one to invite yes. the people. So there's a, a group of blessed people who are not a part of the bride. Uh -huh. And their blessing is just in the idea that they are also invited to witness. Not every Christian is going to be the bride of the Lamb. Not every creature. Remember, there are elders in heaven. Mm -hmm. There are creatures in heaven. There are angels. All those are not Christ's bride. So not every creature, God's creature, is going to eventually become the bride of the Christ. There's a specific group of people. Okay. There's a category of the virgins. Yet all of them are virgins. Mm. But there's a category of the virgins the first group that is taken during the rapture, that is going to eventually become the bride of the Lamb. And there is the other group that has to remain behind and pay the price and go get their own oil. Go through torment like as in hell that's the picture mm. Mm. of the ten virgins they have to pay the price in as much as they are virgins they are all christians mm. they had kept themselves yet they didn't have something that determines their ascension during rapture so that group is left and they have to pay the price. They have to go through hell in order for them to make it to the event. Mm. But finally, when they get to the event, they are not becoming the bride of the Christ. The blessing that they have is just that they are also invited. You don't invite the bride. Mm. Who are these that are blessed, that are called, and they are invited? To the supper. There are two things. The marriage that happens in their absence. And there is the supper. The supper is going to be longer than the marriage celebration. We are going to be here for a thousand years. Reigning together with Christ. Mm. So close to him. Because we have been raptured during the time of the rapture. And then there's the second rapture that occurs during the second coming. And those ones are the blessed ones who are being invited to witness the supper. All right, my family, there you have it with those men of God as they actually speaks concerning um, the rapture of the church and what you need to know as a Christian. And first of all, I started, I came with you first with the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Uyaklume, which was very important concerning what the man of God, Pastor Chris, said. All right. So if you are out there and you are born again and you are like, man, I'm born again. When rapture takes place, I'm going to be raptured. 
then you are not living the right the, the Christian life or you are not doing what you are supposed to do as a Christian all right in fact pastor used an example which was being demonstrated or, or asked in that question concerning um you know those um who go ahead in watching football when the rapture takes place, will the person actually go to heaven and which the answer was that the person won't go to heaven so it might be that they are using football as an example but other things too all right if you are not if you go ahead and do the things of the world you become worldly all right even as a christian that you are you are not doing the worldly things forgetting the main thing that you are supposed to do as a christian or living the life of a christian the rapture takes place you will not eventually go so it's very important that you live the right life all right live the right life so that you be raptured as a christian it's not about just shouting i'll be raptured i'll be raptured are you doing what jesus asked you to do are you actually focused and so guys and also came with the man of god by person of prophet emmanuel makandiwa as he talks concerning um the rapture and the people that you know god is going to actually come and take all right which he talk about the second rapture all right and for the, you need to just know all right you know there's something people are always confused about okay so um what is really going to happen between you know when these christians are raptured when the christians are actually raptured those who were not born again will be on earth and those christians that were raptured that is when god is going to does the bride Lord. receive so, so you an that invitation have not been raptured you'll be on earth to hear on that time we in heaven we are getting our reward and we are having an enjoyment so that's exactly the thing the man of god prophet makandiwa was trying to explain today all right guys i really believe you're a blessing to you today <laughs> It does not have. <laughs> She's the one to invite. Yes. Mm. The people. So there's a, a group of blessed people.